Dear colleagues, today on the World Humanitarian Day, we honor humanitarian workers. We recognize the life-saving work they do day in, day out, helping millions of people in need around the world. Work that is carried out with humility, humanity, impartiality and independence, sometimes in remote and dangerous places. And today, we also remember and pay tribute to those who paid the ultimate price. Eleven years ago, on the 19th of August, a bomb attack ended the lives of 22 colleagues in the Canal Hotel in Baghdad and maimed scores of others. Unfortunately, deadly attacks on aid workers have become a reality in many places around the world. And since last World Humanitarian Day, many of you have had to live with threats and intimidation. I know that several of you have had a narrow escape. In May, one of our colleagues was brutally murdered in Central African Republic. And we honor the brave men and women who lost their lives in the service of helping others, and we express our solidarity with the families of the victims and the survivors. But let World Humanitarian Day be more than a day of remembrance. Let today be a day to remind ourselves why we choose this line of work, to examine our lives and see what more we can do to make this world a better place for all. Let it be an opportunity to reconnect ourselves with the spirit and values of humanitarianism. With more than 51 million people forcibly displaced in the world, humanitarian needs are growing and humanitarians are needed more than ever. Let us recommit ourselves to the core values of the United Nations, to working together to alleviate human suffering and to achieve peace, justice, dignity and development for all. Thank you.